Okay, so this chicken's ready. Oh, I forgot to put the um, frozen vegetables. Um, the noodles are boiling. Then I'm gonna put this. Then I'm gonna put this. Then I'm gonna put this. And a dash of this. We don't use noodles a lot because they get soggy, but and also just we like the broth and meat. meat. Look at this song. Trying to finish this. I want to put my fingers in it. Dude, my sinuses are kicking right now. Everything's too strong. This one girl did it this way, and she just kept stirring. She didn't say how long, because she was just doing it by <laughs> I know she wasn't just doing it straight like this. Look at it. It does whip it out, but it doesn't do it as fast as a mixer would do it. Ooh. Okay, I need a break. Cream of chicken. Cream of pollo. Oh, he did it, that one. Okay. Let me finish with it. Ooh. I did get crazy with it. Look at it. It's getting it kind of like, yeah, how it would get it with the mixer. Just trying to get all the lumps out. But even with the mixer, you're not going to get every, every, every exact lump out unless you do it for like the people who have hand stand mixers, they just set it for like eight minutes. I'm smelling hella lavender. No, oh, my Amazon's going out. <laughs> Amazon, stop. I don't remember setting it. All these different ones going off. I don't know. Why would I randomly set it for like this time? I didn't even know I was going to be up. Or asleep. Ooh, look at that. I'm gonna scoop it up like pudding. Okay. Now, because it's coconut beef. Maybe that was the time for my noodles. Alexa, how much more time? There are no timers set. <laughs> Be on. Hold on. 
Um, let me put this up here so I can get some of it. Garlic. Um, and bouillon. Just a little bit of each. A little bit of each. Garlic. I gotta get to the point where it's at least, um, uniform, because otherwise it's gonna be like clumps of cream of chicken. And then everything else is going to be like. Okay. But anyway, we're back onto this, you guys. So, here's this. Now, look at this. It's not stiff. Sometimes when you make it, it can be too stiff. I may add stuff to it to thin it out a little bit. Make it more spreadable. Um... And I also think it's just how you, like, balance it with the ingredients. Like, if you put enough coconut oil, which is going to, like, melt anyway after a certain temperature. Or slightly melt. It makes it more movable than if you just put a lot of shea butter and just a little bit of coconut oil. The shea butter is going to make it heavier and not really move. Okay, so now I want to put it in its bowl. I was going to get, um, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's a coloring for stuff like this. For soaps and flowers and things like that. Homemade stuff. Um, it's called Mika or Mika. But just since this is just like you know, not even a plan thingy I was gonna do. I didn't and plus with allergy season I just didn't want to start nothing new. Oh it's really look at my fingers. I'm putting my hair right now. I like putting it more stuff in my hair when my hair is slightly damp from the shower. My forehead. <laughs> Look at it. Really like concentrate right here. This stuff needs to harden a little bit, so I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator. Um, it's been sitting out too long. This isn't how I would do to apply it though. This is getting all over my forehead. <laughs> oh my god. But this is where I need the growth. Alright, you guys, this tub is going to go in the refrigerator. Or like in a cool area. One way I've learned that you can kind of prevent it from, like, even when it warms up. And this is just something I learned like. Not even trying to learn it. It just happened because I was, you know, getting all my stuff. Like, I found body butters that were, like, under things. Or, like, they were in, like, areas that were, they weren't, like, direct out, like, directly out. And, um, they basically were covered up. So, those were still kind of in their shape. Versus, like, the ones that were out on a shelf or whatever. So, that's one way to kind of, like... You know, I don't know if you live in like Arizona or somewhere, somewhere hot, it might not matter, but. Okay, you guys, I'm going to put this in the refrigerator, and, um, 
I will keep you guys updated on how it works. I hope it works. If it doesn't work, then it's something with the, the measurements. Like, I didn't put a nail for this or that. So, we'll see. Okay, anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.